The 54th United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, consisting of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from March 4, 1895, to March 4, 1897, during the last two years of Grover Cleveland's presidency. The apportionment of seats in the House of Representatives was based on the 11th Census of the United States in 1890. The House had a Republican majority, and the Republicans were the largest party in the Senate. <laughs> Major events <laughs> Major legislation May 21, 1896, Oil Pipeline Act, ch. 212, 29 Stat, 127, 43 U.S.C. § 962 et seq. May 22, 1896, Condemned Canon Act, 29 Stat. 133 May 28, 1896, United States Commissioners Act, 29 Stat. 184 June 1, 1896, Married Women's Rights Act District of Columbia, 29 Stat. 193 June 6, 1896, Filled Cheese Act, 29 Stat. 253 January 13, 1897, Stock Reservoir Act, 29 Stat. 484, 43 U.S.C. § 952 et seq. March 2, 1897, T. Importation Act, 29 Stat. 604, 21 U.S.C. § 41 et seq. <laughs> States admitted January 4, 1896, Utah was admitted the 45th state. Party summary This count identifies party affiliations at the beginning of the first session of this Congress, and includes members from vacancies and newly admitted states, when they were first seated. Changes resulting from subsequent replacements are shown below in the "'Changes in Membership' section. Senate. House of Representatives Leadership Senate President, Adlai E. Stevenson D. President pro tempore, William P. Fry R. Topic: Majority Republican leadership. Republican Conference Chairman John Sherman. Topic: Minority Democratic leadership. Democratic Caucus Chairman Arthur P. Gorman. Democratic Campaign Committee Chairman Charles James Faulkner. House of Representatives Speaker, Thomas B. Reed R. Majority Republican leadership Republican Conference Chairman, Charles H. Grosvenor Minority Democratic leadership Democratic Caucus Chairman, David B. Culberson Members This list is arranged by chamber, then by state. Senators are listed by class, and representatives are listed by district. Skip to House of Representatives, below. Senate 
Senators were elected by the state legislatures every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re-election in 1898, Class II meant their term began in this Congress, requiring re-election in 1900, and Class III meant their term ended in this Congress, requiring re-election in 1896. <laughs> House of Representatives The names of members of the House of Representatives are preceded by their district numbers. Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Senate Two seats were added when Utah was admitted and one seat was filled late. House of Representatives There were four deaths, two resignations, thirteen election challenges, one new seat, and four seats vacant from the previous Congress. Democrats had a 10-seat net loss, Republicans had a 12-seat net gain, and Populists had a two-seat net gain. Committees Lists of committees and their party leaders, for members House and Senate of the committees and their assignments, go into the official congressional directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link four links. .In the directory after the pages of Terms of Service, you will see the committees of the Senate, House standing with subcommittees, select and special and joint and after the committee pages, you will see the House, Senate committee assignments in the directory, on the committees section of the House and Senate in the official congressional directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side show shows the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. <inaudible> <inaudible> Joint committees Alcohol in the Arts select Conditions of Indian Tribes special Disposition of useless executive papers Investigate charities and reformatory institutions in the District of Columbia Ford's Theater Disaster Topic <inaudible> Caucuses Democratic House Democratic Senate Topic <inaudible> Employees Architect of the Capitol Edward Clark Librarian of Congress, Ainsworth Rand Spofford Public Printer of the United States, Thomas E. Benedict <inaudible> Senate Chaplain, William H. Milburn Methodist. Secretary, William Ruffin Cox Sergeant-at-Arms, Richard J. Bright Topic: House of Representatives. Chaplain: Henry N. Coden, Universalist. Clerk: Alexander McDowell. Clerk at the Speaker's Table: Asher C. Hines. Doorkeeper: William J. Glenn. Postmaster: Joseph C. McElroy. Reading Clerks: Data Unknown, Missing. Sergeant at Arms: Benjamin F. Russell. See also United States elections, 1894 elections leading to this Congress United States Senate elections, 1894 and 1895 United States House of Representatives elections, 1894 United States elections, 1896 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States Presidential Election, 1896 United States Senate Elections, 1896 and 1897 United States House of Representatives Elections, 1896